If you take the formation of the Earth from the origins of our solar system and compress the whole four and a half billion years of Earth history into 24 hours, a single day, then something surprising happens. Humans do not appear until just two minutes to 12 before the end of that day. Has humankind advanced at all during their short stay on Earth? And not just in the Middle East or in Europe, but in Asia, in Africa, or in the Americas? That is the question that inspired my book, The Ultimate Visual History of the World. And one thing I've learned in writing this book is that human civilization is not a linear process. It moves in fits and starts, such as the construction of the pyramids, now almost some 5,000 years ago. Nor did the people of the world move in tandem. What we call the Dark Ages in Europe, for example, was a time of immense creativity in China and India. I think what this shows is that the, the history of humankind is not just about battles or kings and queens, as we've been told in, in school. It's a story of ideas. Ideas like this magnificent temple of the Parthenon in Athens, which would establish the template for architecture for over 2,000 years. So in these 650 pages, I take you to all the highlights of human civilization. The development of language and writing, the invention of the wheel, of science, the rise of the arts, or the great faiths, and the explorations that broadened our horizons, or ideas like the Enlightenment, that would ultimately liberate the people of Europe and give birth to the American Revolution. The story of humankind is far from done and many challenges remain. Saving the world from pandemics and disease and healing the planet from the effects of climate change. But as the stories of this book may show, humankind has progressed. And if anything, that may give us hope for the future. <laughs>